Hello everyone, welcome to ALB, the place to trade. My name is Shushrat and in this video, I'm going to take you through the daily brief for Wednesday, the 13th of November 2019. To start with, we had some uh, data that came out from Australia. Australian wage growth dimmed last quarter while uh, consumer remained gloomy in November, clouding the outlook for household consumption and suggesting more policy stimulus needed to brighten the country's sluggish economy the wage price index rose spot five percent in three months and ended uh, that ended in september in light in line with expectations but down from an already mediocre spot six percent in june uh, for the second quarter australian bureau of statistics data showed on wednesday annual wage growth at two spot two percent slowed from two spot three percent last quarter when economists had expected it to hold steady separately a survey of australian consumers sh showed sentiments remained below average despite three interest rate cuts since june with pessimists outnumbering the uh, optimists in the Asian sh uh, session, Asian stocks and Wall Street futures fell on Wednesday, a confusing signal over the extent of progress made in US-China trade talks and concern about intensifying unrest in Hong Kong, hurt demand for risky assets. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan fell 1.03% to the lowest in more than a week. Hong Kong shares slumped 2% to a four-week low battered by fears that anti-government protests appeared to be spiraling out of control. The pan-region Eurostox 50 futures were down spot 5%, sorry, spot 5-7%. Uh, the German DAX futures were off spot 5-8% and the FTSE fell around spot 5-4%. Moving on, the S&P 500 ekes out again after Trump's trade remarks. The benchmark S&P 500 stock, in, uh, stock index eked out a slim gain on a Tuesday as uh, President Trump said the U.S. is close to signing an initial trade deal with China but offered no new details about negotiations. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq hit all-time highs during trading but stocks ended off session highs after a highly anticipated midday speech from Trump with investors concerned ahead of time about any comments that would worsen the tariff dispute that has convulsed markets for more than a year. Trump, uh, Trump said U.S. and China negotiators were close to a phase one trade deal but largely repeated well-worn rhetoric about China's cheating on trade in remarks at the economic club in New York. Finally, uh, the oil slips as U.S.-China trade deal hopes dwindle. Oil prices dipped on Wednesday as prospects of a trade deal between U.S. and China deemed weighing on the outlook of a global economy and energy demand. U.S. President Donald Trump said on Wednesday that the two countries were close to final finalizing a trade deal, but he fell short of providing a date or venue for signing ceremony which disappointed the investors. Brent crude futures uh, edged down 18 cents or spot 3% to 61 spot 88 dollar a barrel, while the US WTI crude was at 56 spot 67 dollar barrel, down 13 cents or spot 2%. A forecast by International Energy Agency for slower, slower global oil demand growth post 2025 also went on the market. Global oil demand is expected to grow by 1 million barrels per day on average to 2025, but it is forecast to slow to 100,000 barrels uh, per day a year from then on as fuel efficiency improves and more electric vehicles hit the road. The e Sorry, the IEA said uh, in its annual uh, world energy outlook for the period of uh, to 2040. So this kind of remarks from the International Energy Agency also kind of weigh on the oil prices. Uh, but 2025, it's far many things change in the next in in, uh, in months time, and it's five years from now. So uh, the main uh, focus would be, I guess, on at the moment would be on how the U.S. and China. Uh, deal with deal with the trade confusion that has been going on okay that would be it from me uh, and thank you very much for joining me at LB. i hope to see you guys tomorrow again all the best for the rest of the trading day and thank you again bye bye